what's going on guys it's your boy ab and today we're gonna be trying out some new foreign food that i got from world market now this has become one of my favorite stores recently because they sell some pretty interesting stuff so i'm gonna be trying food from so many different countries like china japan australia the uk uh south africa and germany so uh let's taste a bunch of different flavors of the world okay so first food that i'm gonna try i kind of just want to get it out of the way because it kind of looks fucking gross here uh it's lays from china that are roasted garlic oyster flavor. Now it says it there in Chinese and right there in Chinese it translates to pleasure right next to the English word right here. I did some translating with um, my sister's boyfriend. He did some translating for me and found out some translations on here and it's pretty interesting. Now I've never had foreign chips but I already do not like oysters. I, I hate oysters. weird. I don't know if that's the garlic or that's the oysters. I mean, okay, you <laughs> look at that. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, so I got a uh, good old bag from Target to spit in and possibly puke. If anything out of the items I got tonight at World Market are gonna possibly make me up truck, it's more likely gonna be these because I, like I said, I don't like, I don't like oysters. Uh, okay, man. Uh, oh my god. I, I'm so scared. I hate oysters. Ah, <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, grow some balls. Uh, it's still in my mouth. One time I had a Texas oyster and it was gross. I actually puked the first time I had any kind of oysters. Why would anyone eat these? These are these are gross. Yeah, still got the taste in my mouth. I give that a an F triple minus. I'm I gave that score to the Exorcist Believer. I will give that score to Halloween Ends, and this will get that same score. It's awful. Okay, time to actually uh, try something sweet that I actually think may be good. This one's from Japan. It's a uh, Kit Kat orange chocolate. I already opened the bag because uh, when I went to World Market with my best friend tonight, he wanted to try this, and he said this reminds him of a uh, Milka orange chocolate java cake. Now, uh, there's the packaging for the mini. I really like the design, and in fact, it's kind of interesting to look back at other places of the world and just see what kind of stuff they have. And if I had known this entire time that World Market, which is really close to where I live, had this stuff, like had crazy foreign food, I would have visited World Market a long time ago. Let's uh, try this. This is actually really good. I can see what um, my friend was talking about. These do remind me of Java cake. That is actually really good. I really like that. That may just be one of the best uh, pieces of chocolate I've ever had. That actually was really good. Okay, now we're gonna move on to uh, the UK. This is a British Milky Way. Now, it's not like the American Milky Way you're used to. In fact, the British version of the American Milky Way is called a Mars bar. And I've had a Mars bar before. It's actually pretty spot on similar, but this the British Milky Way is basically supposed to be like a equivalent to an American Three Musketeers. Now, uh, I've already opened this because I gave some of these to my niece for her birthday. I'm actually kind of excited to know what this is like. I want to know if there's like any actual differences from the American Three Musketeers to a British Milky Way. Now, to me, it's kind of confusing. I, I, I honestly don't get why they don't have it the same way in the UK, but I guess that's just how things are. But there we go. Looks similar to a uh, Three Musketeers a little bit. This actually kind of tastes a bit sweeter than a Three Musketeers from America. This is um, this is actually pretty good. Not as good as like the uh, the orange Kit Kat that I got, but this is still pretty good. Okay, so if I were like to rate the orange chocolate Kit Kat from Japan, I'd rate it a 10 out of 10. That's like amazing stuff right there. Really love that. And if I were to rate the British Milky Way, I would give that a solid 9.7 out of 10. Okay, now we are moving on to Australia with Violet Crumble. Now, I've never heard of this candy, believe it or not. Now, before I even had any British candy, I've heard of a Mars bar because I've read Harry Potter and the character like mentioned a Mars bar in the, like the first book, The Sorcerer's Stone. I've never in my life heard of Violet Crumble. It is supposed to be some kind of candy honeycomb. So it is covered in chocolate. Okay, dark chocolate. Does it actually shatter? Dude, it's kind of hard to break. What the? Yeah, no joke. It actually shattered like like it says on the wrapper. This definitely seems a bit weird. It's yellow. I guess this is supposed to be some kind of honeycomb candy. I don't know. I'm not typically that big of a fan of honey on everything. 
Yeah, mm, I, I don't like it. I don't think I like that. <laughs> it honestly tastes like you're biting down on chalk. I give the Violet Crumble a 2.2 out of 10. Okay, now we are trying a product of Germany, Milka, a Chips Ahoy infused chocolate bar. And it has a lot of Polish uh, stuff on the back, which is what I don't get. Like, if it's a German product, why have a lot of Polish writing on the back? I mean, if you guys know the uh, answer to this, uh, let me know in the comments below. Before I open it, I do want to point out that it kind of reminds me of, of like a Wonka bar. It just reminds me of like those old school Wonka bars that they used to sell at Toys R Us in my town. Like, I, I honestly miss those and I think they should have brought back the Wonka bars for the new Wonka movie and I'm honestly kind of upset that they did it. I hadn't had a Wonka bar in forever. Huh, that is, oh wow, that is cool. That right there, oh man. Dude, it's almost like cookie dough. That is almost like cookie dough inside a chocolate bar, that is cool. This stuff is actually really good. I will give this a 10 out of 10. Really love the, uh, really love how they kind of made it like it's a cookie dough infused chocolate bar. Like I don't think I've ever had any of those in America. Like I could be wrong. Okay, for the finale here, we are trying something from South Africa, a Nestle text bar. Now, I've never heard of this either. Like, a bunch of the stuff that's in a uh, world market, I've never heard of, which is so weird, and a lot of the times it just turns out to be really good stuff. Now, this is like some kind of wafer candy. Check that out. Okay, let's see if it tastes good. Well, I'll be honest, this isn't bad, but it's not the best thing I've had out of uh, these items. But it's also not the worst. I'll be fair and give this item a 7 out of 10. I will have to say my top three favorite items that I got from World Market tonight would have to be the Milka Bar from Germany, the Orange Chocolate Kit Kat Bars from Japan, and the British Milky Ways, because those were actually really good. I, I can actually see myself, if I ever visit any of those three countries, I would definitely see myself going out and just splurging out and buying all their candies there. Like, I have to say, personally, I really like German chocolate. It's really good, really sweet, really hits my sweet tooth. But the other items I tried, uh, the text bar, it was okay at best. Not the worst thing I had, but the rest of the stuff I had was kind of gross. Like, I definitely hated the oyster chip. And the violet crumble, it, it, it felt like you were eating chalk. Those are just my thoughts on uh, these foreign foods. And if you guys have tried them, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Comment down below and please subscribe and turn on notification bell so you don't miss a single video. This has been your boy Avi. Out. Peace out.